and here to make us his seared pork chops with an apricot mostarda. Please welcome the executive chef of Bourbon Steak in Los Angeles, Kyle Johnson, to our home. Hi. So nice to have you, you here. Very much. It's great to be here. You're a big deal, Kyle, so it's no, a big no, deal no. that you are here. Yes, you are. You're pretty famous <laughs> you. in your world. Kyle, also pretty famous in her world and our world. I'm an actress from the new film, Better Start Running, Annalie Tipton, and she's joining us as well. We're so excited to have you here. We can't wait to hear all about your new movie. It's really, it sounds like a really cool premise. And Ken and Maria have bellied up to the bar for these beautiful pork chops. Looks great. Because these are not just your average pork chop. This is a very special chop, isn't it, Chef? That's correct, yeah. These are Duroc pork chops. Essentially, it's like the Kobe beef of, oh, of pork, man. right? So there's a lot more intermuscular well, no. um, fat in there. Um, they're sustainably raised, which is really, really, really important to me. Yeah. Kind of you. ties into this dish wow. as well. So we're going to get started. So we brine these before we actually sear them on the stovetop and then we Correct. put them in the oven. But how long do we brine them for? So about 18 hours. You can do 12 to oh, 18 hours. 18 if hours. You, if you over uh, brine them, what happens is they will actually become um, a little hammy. And then we season again. Yes. So we're going to lightly season because uh, we're going to take into consideration that we, they have already been seasoned with the brine. So I just lightly season both sides. I always use fresh cracked black pepper. Okay. That's really important. And uh, good peppercorns as well, little tele cherries. Uh, they go a really long way. And then be sure to season both sides. Okay. Uh, again, just using it uh, just a little bit. Um, we season really high as well to make sure that it disperses evenly. Okay. And then a fresh cracked pepper. So that's just not for show. No. No, I'm not Salt Bay. I, <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was so you look cool. And then we put them on our uh, piping hot. Yeah. So this skillet. is you know you have a wisp of smoke. Okay. And then we're gonna take these and we're just gonna lay them down. Now those right are in there. thick chops. Those are thick chops. Yeah. They're very thick. How long would we sear these on both sides? Okay. So we're gonna sear them for about two two to three minutes on each side. And what you're looking for are those diamond cut marks that okay. everybody, every like chef wants to see. Yes. And so you're gonna start there, your classic 10 and two is what we're really looking for. All right. All right. And depending on, you know, I said two to three minutes, depending like, so two minutes and then you would turn and then you would flip. Okay. And then you, a good indicator as well is looking at the bottom right here and you'll start to see the uh, bottom of that pork chop that's touching the pan will start to get a little brown up around the sides of there. Okay. And then that's a good indicator as well that you can flip it. That's and it will it, Allow it will begin to release itself. Yes, absolutely. When okay. you said ten and two, what did you mean by that? So here's like 10 your o'clock. ten o'clock here, and then, and then when you flip it, you're gonna go to two o'clock. So then you uh, get the so you get those those diamond cut marks. Get, that's how you get that. Oh God! You can do right? it on your grill outside too. Absolutely. I just got a lot fancier. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. So what we're gonna do now, while these guys are are cooking up, okay. you know, to, uh, we're always trying to save time in the right, kitchen, right? Exactly. Um, we're gonna go over here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make the mostarda. The mostarda. Okay. So. Before we even get started, what is mustarda? It's essentially jam, jelly, chutney. So you're going to take all those apricots that you had in your tree if you're lucky enough to have an apricot tree. There's tons of lemons around Southern California. You can yep. even do like a lemon marmalade. Ah. So we're going to take that and we're going to preserve it for the rest of like the fall, winter months, right? Okay. So then what's the difference between a jam and a mustarda? Mustarda. Oh, yeah. so, mustarda. Exactly. <laughs> Mustard. Mustard. Because oh. if you look at mustard in, in Spanish and Greek, Italian, mustard, that means mustard. So this is just a fruit mustard. Mm. Got you. Thank yeah. you. I, so you know, so we, we, um, the apricots in there. we put the ap I agree uh, apricots that. in right here. Yep. We're going to take our mustard seeds. We're going to add those in just as so. Mm. We have our... Um, beautiful. Right here is white wine. And then we're going to take a little bit of white balsamic vinegar. You can use mm. white distilled vinegar, Does it matter? champagne vinegar. Does it matter what kind of white That's, wine? No, um, I mean anything that I always say. If you drink it, you should use it, right? Okay. Um, especially wine is important in, in in cooking. But a lot, I think, a myth is that you can use really cheap um, and important wines. Yeah. So if, you want to use quality stuff because quality ingredients in brings quality right. out. So then we put the honey in. Yes, honey in. And then we put that on the stove top for how long? You put that on the stove top for about two hours. You can use granulated sugar as well, but honey, honey it gives so good, a, yeah, yeah, it just gives I it mean, a much more balanced. Looks right, you can go down to Hollywood Farmers Market and pick up some honey. Some local honey would be great. Yes. So then low and slow for about two hours. Yeah, and, and you're then gonna, it, you're gonna want to watch this because what happens is the sugars that burn really, really yes. quickly. Yes. Uh, one minute you think that you're in the safe zone and you could turn around and do one thing and then it's right over. back at it and it's it's burnt. And right? then eventually it starts. To look like that, which is beautiful. And you know what? By the way, you could put that on anything. You could put that on toast. And it yeah, you could delicious. put it on toast. Absolutely. And then you add the mustard at the very last minute, though. Correct. So once that's all cooked down, you're going to add the mustard. Okay. 
just and like so. And this is so. Dijon mustard? Yeah, so this is Dijon mustard. And then what you would do is this is already cooked down nicely, and then you're just gonna stir that in. The reason why you add it in at the very end is because you don't want the acidity really to, to cook out of that mustard. You really, since it's a mustarda, you wanna, you wanna really taste that mustard, right? And the Dijon will bring that really through for you. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm gonna pop this in the oven for us because after we've had this for two or three minutes on each side. Okay. On, in the cast iron skillet on the stove top. We pop it in for how long in the oven, Chef? So I would pop it in there for about 25 minutes. At what temperature? About 350 wow. is your go-to temperature. Uh, not too high. You don't want to like really um, overcook the, the protein there. And you don't want those juices to rush out of that meat uh, right. rapidly. Right? They didn't so, get the memo on the diamond formation. I just want to... Oh, that, <laughs> that's a 10 oh, and not a 2. I see no 2 there. All right. They do a great job in our kitchen. Thank you, guys. Now, you're well, also serving this with some really fancy pants lentils. Right. So I was trained in French kitchen, kitchens when I was young. Younger. Right. Well, younger. I was going to say. So we have... Uh, these are Dupuis lentils. So it's a... You know, we have a French lentil, and it's done with a little bit of bacon in there. And I did something totally wrong and you know some of the chefs would be rolling around in their graves but I added barbecue sauce to this oh my god Woo! right so if you think of like Boston baked beans <laughs> Isn't that awesome? right um, I love Boston baked beans now you have a little bit more of a refined ingredient such yeah. as a lentil you add a little barbecue sauce I got it I, I get it and bacon it. And then, I, love I love this it. idea so you can take these uh, you know these lentils you add a little bit of that barbecue sauce in there and it gives it that kind of summer flavor okay so we're just gonna put this down right in the middle like okay. so it's so good oh. and then we put our the pork chop on top or onto the side uh, well you can you know you can plate it however you'd like no I want you to do it <laughs> you're the fancy one all right so what we're gonna do is plate this pork chop um, you know you can slice it you can dice it, you can do whatever you like to it, right? So we're gonna put that just like so. And where's the chutney go? You can put the chutney right on top. Right on that top. That chutney is so delicious. But or you're... the mostarda. Yeah, mostarda. I was just gonna mostarda. 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 I was gonna correct you on that. The mostarda. <laughs> but mostarda. It, it, it gets even fancier because okay. you've, you've also made this beautiful fine herb sauce. Yeah, so fine herbs, right? A classic, you wanna sauce it? Sure, tell me what to do. Just put your spoon in there and okay. have at it. There's around? The, just around, just try to hug it against the oh, lentils. Oh, yeah. uh, look at nice. you, you're a pro. Fancy. Nice. I'll get you in the kitchen ASAP. Oh, thank She's you. available you Friday that. and Saturday nights uh, from uh, One word 9 to busiest. 11. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. Oh, thank you, Chef. So, this is so good. So thank tasty. You so much. I mean, fantastic, it's fantastic so work. For the full recipe, um, obviously, head over to hallmarkchannel.com. And you can also connect with Kyle on his social media. I'll let you guys have a little bite there. Oh, yeah. that's right. Look at that. That's Look how so perfectly tender. that's cooked. Oh, it's so yeah. tender. You're going to love it.